Here's my road! Now where the heck is Smoot Road? Hello, my name is Will Buchanan. I'm walking all the way across the country to New Hampshire in search of and to work toward more freedom on a project called the Walk for Liberty. Today is November 12th, 2008, day 189. As you may have noticed if you've watched the videos the last couple days, this area is grape country, primarily juice grapes. This is a registered motor vehicle repair shop by the state of New York. It's also official in other respects. I'll be walking through several small towns today, the first of which is Westfield. I've seen what Captain Kirk uses the red shirts for. I don't want the red shirt treatment. This morning I called several local newspapers to see if they wanted to cover the story of the Walk for Liberty. And I'm not sure, but I think the guy at the Dunkirk Observer might have been a little sarcastic with me. He said to me, New Hampshire, eh? Isn't that the place where there's no taxes and where they give everyone guns? I corrected him by saying that there's no general sales tax and there's no income tax. And the government won't prevent you, at least theoretically, from open carrying a firearm without a permit. Geez, what year is this? 1988? I am Obama. Aren't we all Obama? Really? Um, no, we're not. Park closed. No trespassing. If there's one thing that government is good at, it's pulling the wool over people's eyes. It's really got the cloak of legitimacy thing down. Making people think it's legitimate, when it's really just an agency that uses force on others. It does this through an excellent public relations campaign. Indoctrinating people early, starting with the government school system. One product of this public relations campaign is the myth of public land. Government likes to use the term public land because it's a nice, warm, good feeling term. I've even seen them say things to emphasize that concept, such as your national forests. They generally don't want to call it what they really think of it as. And that is as government property. If people realized that it's really government property, then they might start to question why they're being forced to pay a lot of money through taxes to pay for property that ultimately belongs to someone else. However, if they think of the land as theirs as well, then the fact that they're paying that money is much more palatable. But make no mistake, the government does indeed consider it their land. As one example, take that government park back there, which they probably call a public park. The sign said, park closed, no trespassing. If that park really belonged to every member of the community, shouldn't any one of them be able to go into it anytime they wanted? But no, the government has shut it down and forbidden access to it. 
And therefore, it doesn't really belong to them, but rather to the government. As for me though, I've decided that since the government does use the term public land or public property, that when it suits my needs, I'll throw it right back at them and use the term public property as well. For example, if I'm on government property and a police officer tells me I'm not supposed to be doing something that I could do on my own private property, then I might ask him something like, well, aren't I on public property? Aren't I an owner in this? However, other than to use the term against the government itself, with everyone else, I'll continue to educate them that the government considers public property to really be government property. Even if the guy at the Dunkirk Observer that I talked about earlier was being sarcastic, they still want to do our story. I spoke on the phone with one of the reporters there, and he'll be meeting to interview me in a few minutes. I walked about 16 and a half miles for Liberty today. Here is my GPS position. If you do any of your shopping online, please consider purchasing through Amazon.WalkForLiberty.com and the Walk for Liberty will receive a percentage of your purchase price. Again, that's Amazon.WalkForLiberty.com This is Will Buchanan, signing off. Don't be afraid, little girl. You can come closer. Say, are those flowers for me?